I've already made a video on how to create a trailer downer in under 60 seconds, but I wanted to make another one covering a few more techniques on how to make more interesting trailer downers and bass drops. So this is the default preset in Vital. I have a very basic setup here, a MIDI note, one bar long, and I'm playing a D. So the easiest way to set up a trailer downer is just to take an envelope or an LFO and create a downward shape and then just map this to the global pitch or the pitch of the oscillator. In this case, I'm going to map it to the global pitch so level one goes to global voice transpose and let's set it to 12 semitones let's also make this one bar long and set it to envelope mode to get the sort of classic bass drop sound you can just use a sine wave for this and then you get this sound now if you want to make this a bit more interesting you can start adding other oscillators so if i add oscillator 2 i can cover a wider frequency range I can even add a third oscillator here and pitch this one up and maybe also give this one some uh, unison and detail. Now we can also route this to filter one to tame it down a bit. If you want some more movement, we can actually just use another LFO and put this on the cutoff of this filter. So maybe let's change this to seconds so we have a bit more control over the speed. Now a good idea is to modulate the frequency of LFO2 with LFO1. With this downward shape, we are going to modulate the frequency of this one. So let's just go to the matrix, choose LFO1 and set it to the frequency of LFO2. And also increase it just a tiny bit. And now the lower the pitch drops, the slower the modulation of our frequency cutoff. Go. Now you can also use the same LFO to automate other effects. So for instance, distortion, and we can exaggerate the filter movement. If you want to use different effects that change the sound a bit more, you can also route the first oscillator here to the direct out. So it's not affected by all the effects that we are going to use. And then we're just going to affect oscillator 2 and oscillator 3 with the filters and with any effect that we put here. For instance, we can now use Reboot. We can also use something like a flanger or a phaser if we want to make a more futuristic. We can also add some noise and actually modulate this with everything else. So we are also going to put LFO2 on the level of this and just use one of these samples. This can also help with filling up the frequency spectrum. And especially if you start loading your own samples in there, you can get also really interesting results. You can also just change the shape of LFO1 to sort of get different types of downers. And you can also increase the voice transpose here to two octaves, for instance. And you can also uh, increase the length of the drop, let's say to two bars, and then you simply have to change the frequency. I think with these kind of techniques, you can easily create a lot of different variations and just have fun experimenting.